Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Angel with Angel Spiritual Messages. This is going to be a who's coming towards you um, reading for the fire signs um, and those with fire sign placements from mid-January to mid-February. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will be using the Amir oracles as, as well as the uh, Love Situations oracles the Island Time Wellness Oracles, as well as some tarot to give you guys a clear and more accurate read. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, guys, if you like the video. And keep in mind, cross watchers, you are welcome, but please be nice in the comments and reverse the roles as need be. And if it doesn't resonate, then please check your other placement, guys. All right, let's get started. Spirit, what do you have for me for the fire signs? for mid-January to mid-February on who's coming towards them. All right, let's see, fire signs. What do we have for you today? All right, let's see. What do you have for me, spirit, for the fire signs for mid-January to mid-February? Who's coming towards them? Ooh, quiet. What y'all do to these folks? All right, let's take another pass. For the fire signs, who's coming towards them? Thank you, spirit. Anything else on who's coming towards the fire signs? Mid-February to, excuse me, mid-January to mid-February. All right, I got two messages at the bottom of the deck. Past life. So it is someone that you have shared a past life with. Um, so this may be possible soulmate, possible twin flame. Uh, you will know um, <laughs> because... If you have not met this person, uh, then you will soon. But if you have met this person, then you know exactly who they are because you'll know if they're your twin flame. You may be doubting it. You may be questioning it. But in your gut, you know it. And that's the same for a soulmate. Also, gossip. Um, this person may be talking about you or talking um, to others with regard to you, trying to find out things about you, trying to find out what your current status is, trying to figure out, you know, who you're dealing with. And if you are dealing with anyone at all, um, this person is very curious in who you are and what you stand for. They want to know the goods on you. They want to know all of the details of who you are and what you stand for. Um, it looks like this could be according man and or woman, please reverse the roles. Um, but this is a professional person, someone who presents themselves as someone who has their act together. So, um, it looks like this is someone that you already know. And if you don't know them, then you know them from a past life. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull some love situation oracles to see if I can get a little bit more information on this for the fire signs. Spirit, if you would, please give me more more information on this for the fire signs on who's coming towards them mid January to mid February. Give me a little bit more information. All right, let's see. Quite a bit. Quite a bit came out in the beginning at the top yeah they want to speak today definitely for the fire sign spirit what else do you have who's coming towards them for mid january to mid february mid january to mid february thank you spirit Mid January to mid February. All right, let's see what we got. Quite a bit. All right, so this past life's person may have been someone who had um, at some point, if you were in contact with them before, left you as an option or exercised you as an option, which means they pursued other people um, while you were in contact with them. Um, Pretty much, in my opinion, someone who was noncommittal, who wasn't 
really ready to settle down, um, who wasn't trying to do anything serious. Um, mixed feelings. They had mixed feelings about the situation. So if you dated someone or you were in a relationship with someone or tried to get something off the ground with someone who had mixed feelings, like you knew that they cared, but they expressed something totally different, um, then this is possibly the person. Uh, just remember it is past life. So you may not have met this person just as of yet. Um, protect uh, protection. So they want to um, protect you. In, in my opinion, this person wants to come in and try to aid you in protection and uh, try to keep you completely safe. In my opinion, that's what I'm getting from um, this card uh, trapped. This person may have previously been trapped in a previous situation, which means they were not obligated or able to give you um, the stability that you needed. Um, bad intentions, definitely with someone who came in and wasn't expecting to have anything serious with you uh, originally, um, but maybe considering uh, making a um, change in their decision. And the reason that I say that is because I have hot and cold, which means that this person definitely had feelings for you. They didn't know how to express them. So they came off very hot and cold with you. Um, so it looks like a past life person, but someone that you actually have already met. And if you haven't, this is the type of way to know whether or not this is the person, um, because they're going to come in, things are going to seem like they're good. Um, but this person is going to keep their distance. They're going to make you seem like they have options. Um, but the truth, the reality is, is they, um, feel something very strong for you that they cannot, um, understand, um, gypsy. Yeah. This person is going to try to play games, um, and keep you confused all at the same time. But I don't think that it's going to work because what I'm seeing here is main lady, um, or man, please reverse the roles. It looks like they are going to choose you as the person in which they want to, um, be with sacrifice. Yep. They're going to leave behind all of the craziness, the foolishness that they've been dishing out and dealing with in order to try to pursue something with you. Not sure if you're going to be willing to do that because if it is someone you've already been in contact with, they may have burned a bridge that they can't walk back across. Um, if you haven't met them yet, they may rub you the wrong way to where you're not going to want to have anything to do deal with them. Uh, clean up. They're definitely going to come in and try to do some damage control and try to spin the block on you to see if they can get back in. Um, let me pull some Island time wellness. The only thing about it with that past life, um, if you guys had past life and were past lovers, you guys can feel it. It's a soul bond. And, uh, that means that you are definitely going to be very, very attracted to this person. Um, one way or another, it's nothing you can do about it. Your soul recognizes this person on a deeper level. Uh, you may hate their guts, but your soul loves them. Um, and that's just the truth of the matter. Let me go ahead and get some Island time wellness. Give me more information spirit with regard to this reading for the fire signs, January, mid January to mid February. These cards don't want to speak today for you guys. Try it again. Spirit messages for the fire signs. Mid January to mid February. What does this fire signs need to know about the person coming towards them? I did see one card um, flip in the deck and I'll go ahead and pull it out and then I'll make another pass. Actually, it was more than one. Let me see. There's another one in here. I saw it with my own little eyes. I saw it. And I'm not going to let it get away because this person is not trying to talk, honey. Do you hear me? This energy is stubborn. So that may be there. It is right there. This uh, may give this person may be very stubborn in their um, energy um, with regard to letting you know how they feel, um, what they want, taking and making moves. This person is going to be very stubborn. But they're going to be, it looks like wanting something serious here. Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Anything else? All right. Nothing else from that, but it do, I do have a few over here. So let's get into it. Abundance of uh, keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Yes, it's a past life person. And yes, you can have abundance with them. You're going to have to manifest. You are um, in a manifesting um, 
point in your life where you're able to bring in anything that you desire. So ask the universe for what you want. Stick to your guns. Don't change your mind. Don't be wishy-washy. Stay positive and bring it in. Lightning, um, sudden, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, um, upheaval, transformation. Yep. It's going to blow your mind that this person is going to change their player ways um, who tried to leave you as an option and is now willing to try to um, see if they can make something work with you. Uh, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting. Um, telling you when Cupid shoots that arrow, it's no stopping it. it it's not no, no stopping it. It's a karmic relationship, fleeting, triggering, tumultuous, um, lessons, letting go and loving you. That's what you did. If you were in contact with this person before you let them go. Um, and if you have not been in contact with them, then that hasn't happened as of yet, not today. So it sounds like you're still mad about, um, what happened with the situation with this person, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, uh, boundaries, still angry. Yeah. You, you're, you're, you're still hurt by the situation of how this ended. Um, heart with the key, but you love them. Uh, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. So yeah, you guys are going to try this round all over again. The runner that I told you this was a soul connection. The runner, this is definitely possibly a twin flame, a dynamic runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Yep. That's exactly what happened. This person was this court man and or woman had their act together. Life was good. They thought they had it all figured out. They were going to go out here and play the field, play the role. And guess what? They ran into you and you stopped them dead in their tracks. OK, and now they didn't know what to do with it, which is what caused you guys to um, either end the situation or um, for you uh, fire signs to pull back your energy and leave this person wondering what the heck happened. Dating, meeting someone new, dating. Um, getting back out there, plan setting dates. That's the reason that they're coming back in because they can feel that you pulled your energy away. You're out there dating and trying to get to know new people. You probably got on a dating site. You probably have met people for coffee or for drinks or even dinner. This person can feel that in their energy because you guys have past lives. Okay. Um, wedding ring, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Yep. Yep. That's exactly what it is. So now let's try to figure out what this person is going to do. Fire signs. Ooh, spirit. If you would please show me, um, how this person feels about the fire signs. How does this person feel about the fire signs? How does this person feel about the fire signs? Let's see. And at the bottom of the deck, we have justice in the reverse. So this person feels as if they were treated completely wrong by you. They feel like you were fair and unjust in the way in which you handled them. Um, they, they're not happy with you is what it sounds like to me. Um, but I have you over here as not today, which means that you guys had a very uh, not so good exchange of words when you guys um, separate it from each other or when you stop communicating and this person feels like they were unjustly treated. You felt like this person was a uh, player. They came in in their player energy. They ha held you as options and you didn't like it. But guess what? This person is still watching you. They're still wanting to know what's going on in your world. That's why this gossip card is out here because they want to know what's going on. This person sees you as someone that they want to build something with. They were not the best person in the beginning. They were foolish and they caused a lot of damage. And unfortunately, they understand that, but they are not willing to let this situation go. Um, temperance. They're basically saying in divine timing, this is all going to come together. Uh, spirit is going to balance the situation out because you are my wish fulfillment. No matter how you feel about it, you are, in fact, my wish fulfillment. And I am going to turn this card from the reverse 
into the upright at some point in time, the wheel of fortune, they're wanting a new chance. This person uh, could possibly be a fixed sign um, with uh, this wheel of fortune. As far as the temperance, this person may be a Sagittarius. The justice card is possibly a Libra. The uh, wands, of course, you know, that is your fellow sign in Aries, Leo and or Sag. Um, the swords energy can be a Gemini, Libra and or Aquarius. So that you may be dealing with. All right. So let me see. This person has a lot of passion for me with that Knight of Wands, but that's player energy. Give me a little bit more on how this person feels about the fire signs, if you would, Spirit. Show me more about how this person feels about the fire signs. Look at that on the cut. The um, Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. So good news of a love offer. This person loves you. They didn't know how to express it or say it in the beginning. But now they're battling how to how to make that come together now. Let's see. How does this person feel? Mm. Don't want to be a player no more. I told you. One more spirit. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, the four of wands in reverse, they feel like they've messed up their opportunity to build something solid and stable with you. And the um, and that they're just not going to get a chance to build this happy home that they wanted, that you guys um, envisioned, that you guys possibly talked about. I'm feeling that you guys talked about building a home, moving to a home, or you guys may have exchanged, you know, links to different homes that you guys thought about. Is what I'm feeling. All right. Um, what I got here is this person feels like it came out in the reverse. The seven of cups. They don't want to be a player anymore. They, they want to get rid of exercising their options. They don't want to do that anymore. They're waiting on you. They are waiting on you with this three of wands. But it looks like they caused you the ten of swords. They know that they have stabbed you completely up side down and around again but they still want to come in with this page uh i mean this knight of pentacles and try to offer you something um tangible in the form of an offer to start anew okay so this person definitely wants to try to bring this situation back into balance let me see how does the fire signs feel about this person how does the fire signs feel about this past life person trying to come back into their lives let's see fire signs let's see how you guys feeling about it you don't look too happy to me with this not today card look at that at the bottom of the deck the ace of swords you guys have gained have gained clarity um and truth about this situation show me there's one how is the fire signs feeling about this person We will see how that came out because it did flip one more. All right. Look at that. Look at that. The Hierophant in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person may be a Taurus. So you want it long term with this person, but this person um, came across as someone that was noncommittal. So with the four of swords also at the bottom of the deck, it looks like you have clarity about this situation. You've thought about it long and hard. And you don't know if there's something that you want to invest in with this Hierophant in reverse. Um, but you do see this person as the Ten of Cups. Let me put that down. You see this person as the Ten of Cups, but they broke your heart with this Three of Swords. They stabbed you. They, they played with your emotions and it kept you up all night. You were in your head not understanding why this situation didn't work. Why did it break down? What happened? Somebody helped me understand because there was no clarity, but it was because there was no foundation. The foundation was not solid. You were trying to build um, something on a shaky foundation. This person came in in a player energy. They never expressed how they truly felt. They were above the surface with you. When you asked them anything, they kept it really lighthearted as if you were an option. And this person developed some major feelings for you. OK, they want a new opportunity, but you feel like I've given this person my heart. I've put everything into it. 
I don't know if I have anything else to give. I've given more than enough only to receive absolutely nothing. So you don't know whether or not you can feel it. And here at the bottom of the deck, the five of pentacles, this person feels like they're out in the cold. They are out in the cold. The six of swords in reverse. You're not trying to move this into calmer waters with this person. You've pretty much given up on this situation. You are someone that they find very desirable and very, very attractive but you're mean right now. You're not being nice about this situation. You have no words for this person. You pretty much closed the door on them and said, I ain't got nothing else to say to you. I'm done. You're in the queen of uh, wands in the reverse. This is not a very attractive person. When you talk to this person, this person is bitter and angry and hurt. Page of wands, they still gonna come in and try to give you um, some type of good news about how they want to start something new with you. They're in their head about it because they don't know how you're going to respond to it. And this world card in reverse, they don't want to let the situation go. Okay. Um, from what I have on the board, I have the world card that can be a Capricorn and or Aquarius. Uh, let me see. What else do I have on the board that I didn't say? The Queen of Wands, of course, you know, that isn't also a fire sign in Aries, Leo and or Sagittarius that you may be dealing with. I want to make sure I didn't leave anything. But yeah, I'm sorry, guys, if you don't want this person back, they own their way. But you, you had the Ten of Pentacles here, which means that you still have a lot of love for this person. You just don't trust them. You do not trust this person. What action is this person going to take? And on the split, the devil and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, this person might not be that right. They might not be that right. They may be still coming in with that toxic energy. Let's see. What would be the potential outcome if the fire signs decided to uh, try to work the situation out with this person? What would be the potential outcome if the fire signs tried to work the situation out with this person? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm at, at the bottom of the deck, the hangman. So you are still in contemplation about this entire thing. But as of right now, this is how you're feeling. The sun in reverse, not seeing it happening. The ace of swords in reverse. This person is not going to come in telling the truth. And the two of swords in reverse. No decision is going to be made um, to take this person back. You're like, no. And you're defending yourself from it. You are too hurt by what has happened with this person. And I am inclined to say that this situation is still freshly new, um, which is why you're taking this stance. I don't know. But this is a pass. Um life person someone that you shared love with in another lifetime it's gonna take some time to get past what this person has done because this person played with your feelings um they left you as an option they never revealed their hand they hid their hand they threw something they hid their hand never showed who they were and treated you as the option and you were like nope i'm not anybody's third party nope not settling for it fire signs i don't blame you um, this is what I have for you. I hope this helps. I hope it gives you peace. I hope it gives you some comfort. Thank you so much for your time. Again, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Have a great one.